Hey everyone, happy Sunday, June 2nd. Okay, let's get started. What's going on? Well, my neighbor stopped by the other night. I sort of have an open door uh, to the courtyard where I live, so um, she stopped by. It was 12.30 at night, in the morning, whatever. And one time she stopped by at like... 30 and stay till 3 in the morning because my doors open my lights are on yeah she so she stopped by anyways she this is the same gal who found 41 skeins of yarn for me at uh, some thrift store and anyways so she brought me a skein of yarn and this is it I don't know if any of you have used this stuff before. It's Lamb's Pride. It this is a four weight yarn and it is 85% wool and 15% mohair. And this color I would say is like an aubergine, but that's not what it's called. It's cl called clematis. And the color is M-56. And they don't even show this on their website anymore. You can't go to the Lambs, or the, let's see, what is the company is? Brown Sheep Company. Maybe some of you have bought their wool before. Um, hey how so I have this, and that was interesting. Interesting little 12.30 in the morning visit. Also, I finished the Blue Lagoon blanket. And I'm going to put a picture up right here. You can see that the blanket doesn't quite fit the top part of a queen size bed. But that's okay. I didn't want, you know, a full size uh, bed afghan. I just wanted more of a throw afghan. So that's what it was. And I think I started it on May 15th and I finished on June 1st. And of course there were some down days there while I was waiting for yarn. So this is what I have. This is that blue skein. And let's see, there's the tunnel. That's what I have left. So that is how much I was off on thinking that I had enough. That's quite a bit. I don't know how many ounces out of here I used. I could weigh it, but I'm not going to. But I have another idea for that yarn. But it's a smaller project. And, okay, also, I finished all of the Jada Barnes for the 2019 folk art blanket. And I'm going to put up pictures right here. Okay, this is the uh, the two spring ones. These are the two summer ones. And then the fall and the winter. Now what happened, for whatever reason, when I made the fall blanket, which was the last barn that I made, um, well I had made all six barns, I wasn't really paying attention. So I come to sell the last barn on the last blanket, which was the fall blanket, and I discovered that my barn and the background color were the same. So on the fly, I had to make a new barn. So what's interesting is with all those Jada blankets, I have like a whole, whole extra set of appliques that, you know, I'll try and applique and I don't like it, and so I'll put it aside. So I have like enough appliques to make another blanket, which I might do in the future, but right now, no. Um, Okay, so I also wanted to say that on Facebook, 
every now and then I get this little advertisement that pops up. I'm going to show it right here. I took a, a picture on the screen. And I just want to know if any of you ever buy your Karen one pounders from Consumer Crafts because the price that they're showing is already like 40% less than Joann's and Michael's. And I don't know if all their skeins are that price or approximately, but I just thought I'd throw that out there if anybody has ever purchased from Consumer Crafts. It looks like they have free shipping if you order more than $49 worth, but I've never ordered from them. So, this is just a quick video to update you on what's been going on. I, I don't know if you ever feel this way when you finish a big project like an Afghan and then you're just sort of like, what do I do now? Well, I'm going to start a new Afghan, probably. Probably. Although I might do a couple of Amish roomies, whip some out before Jada comes out with her new applique in a couple of weeks. I do have part of a bear. Well, you saw it in the last video. I showed like the bear head. And then I stopped working on the bear because I told myself, you've got to finish that Blue Lagoon blanket. you got to finish the Jada blankets. So this is as far as I've gotten on this little bear. It'll be a little pink, pink dress bear. Most of my little bears are female. But anyhow, so I'll probably work on that. Plus I have a couple more Omigurumis and then I have one special project which I can't talk about because I don't know if that person watches my videos. So I can't really talk about it, but it is a special project. And I need to get working on that probably before I do any Amigurumi. Anyhow, also our hummingbirds are back. Now this is total segue to something different. But around here we have a lot of hummingbirds. And in March and April the hummingbirds migrate somewhere. So they're, there's just a few that hang around. But now they seem to be coming back in full force. And one of my little jobs around here is to always make sure that the hummingbird feeders are full. So we have seven hummingbird feeders and I check them now. And usually we go through about 10 pounds of sugar a week making hummingbird water. And we just use sugar and water, no food coloring. Because uh, the birds don't need food coloring to attract them. They're just very happy with the sugar water. So, yeah, and you don't get any sugar water. No, you don't. So, I w I'm going to put up a few pictures of hummingbirds at the end of this video. And, because they let me get pretty close. So, I will talk to you all later. Hope you have a great week. I'll put up a video sometime during the week. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.